Okay, uh, yeah, we've been hunting the whole morning, uh, Rashad, and we found the fish here at Amgababa. I've been uh, driving, took my chances here, but uh, uh, we're getting a hard time here with the, uh, with, the, with the guys at Amgababa here. They want to cut our nets and uh, they're threatening us here. So I don't know what's going to happen, what this is, what the situation is going to be, but we got the fish in the net. Uh, we're pulling out, we can't talk much, but I'll chat to you just now. Thank you, Tony. Okay. Margaret Pierre had some action this morning with dolphins and sardines. Sardines sighted early this morning just off Margaret Main Pier. Apparently a big shoal but too deep into net or to expect to wash to the shore. Cape Vidal is a little beach area 38 kilometers north of St. Lucia Estuary. Very favorable for snorkeling and um, a nice day on the beach. But here yeah, we also catch shad under the right condition. This is Cape Vidal Bay. If you go turn right when you come onto the beach, then you go south. If you go south far enough, you'll find the info marker. Below the info marker, you're allowed to take fish, crayfish, mussels, oysters, crab sea lice. Now if you go north, you will go all the way to Levin Point, which is 22 kilometers north. But we're going to focus just on Cape Vidal Bay. On a northeasterly wind a day or two before, the bay fills up with fish, especially with shad. Now that specific point over there, just to the left of the vehicles, that's where most of the shad is caught if the northeasterly was blowing for a couple of days. So guys, that is where you fish. When you have a northeasterly blowing the days before, your date that you want to go to Cavital. Otherwise you fish in Lucia or Mission. Saturday looks like a beautiful day for fishing, although there's going to be a light drizzle in the morning. A slight wind of east south easterly um, as the sun rises and um, it's going to be nice and cool. We can expect to get shed at Ingwe, Jabula and Main Beach. And we can expect to get Natal Stumpnose a little bit north of the main beach. This report is for St. Lucia Estuary, South Africa, Isimangalisa Wetland Park. With low tide being so early in the morning and the water temperature being so cool, we might be in for some nice shad. As I say at the speeches, I won't go walking all the way to Mapelon Bay because we don't ha have a strong northeasterly wind leading up to Saturday. It's a southwesterly wind on the Friday afternoon. Here's the tide. Low tide is at 7.30 in the morning and again at quarter to eight, ten to eight in the evening. Now it's important that we notice that we fish on low tide because of the double sandbank in front of these beaches. The side wash will be strong from left to right. Once again we want to thank Advantage Tours and Charters for the sponsoring of this video. Remember the Hippo cro and Croc Tours at 10, 12 and 3 o'clock on this lovely vessel. Just to make you a little bit jealous, this is Sean May from uh, Ninjas Extreme Rock and Surf Fishing. Took out some guests, they caught 41 Garrick, landed and released, and the biggest one was 29 kilos. Now guys, if you really want to be into some action, join Sean May on Mos in Mossel Bay and Ninjas Extreme Fishing. Go Sean!